day, day two. two, technically, uh, but day one of the rehearsals. Yes, of rehearsals for Broadway Dreams. We're waiting at Starbucks right now, getting energized, because it's going to be a long, long day. Uh, we got cast in all our segments, and we got some sparkling waters, and we're so excited to really kick off the week at Broadway Dreams. <laughs> Vincenzo Maduri. I kind of grew up with the program. It really is like a second family to me. Um, and it's probably the, the thing that I look forward to the most in my whole year. And it also is just like a really cool way for me to see like lives being changed. My favorite part isn't ever the show. It's always seeing like the process. The process. You know, you walk around to the rehearsals throughout the week and you gradually see like people like getting like a breakthrough and like finally getting that note and stuff like that and then like you finally see the show and you're like they did it it's so inspiring with having my own theater company it's exciting to be able to bring back uh, all the knowledge that i get from broadway dreams and from all the faculty and everything back to my community but also um being able to kind of get recharged and reinvigorated with all the different students and and all their different um, abilities and lives and, and how that influences our art. It's very based on the students. That's why I love coming back to Broadway Dreams because there's such a, um, a family. That We're shooting a commercial for Broadway Dreams merch right now with Becky and uh, Ethan. He's got his little backpack on and Jackson's doing the shooting. Hey, how's it going? Jackson Tanner.
Unplug means to me, in an ironic way, um, a lot more about connection and not even necessarily like having to be personal connection, but just knowing how to be real and truthful to um, the people that you love. Unplugged basically means to me like in a simple form, just genuine human connection. I think it was the fourth time we ran through Thursday and I looked um, back at the at the line of men in the back, um, the symbolic line of men, and just cried. <laughs> and like, do your agents? Yeah, we're not spelling that. <laughs> I think unplugging is um, taking time to reconnect with yourself and the people around you. Rejuvenation after a crazy day. Is that a word? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anytime Natalie hits the well. Or, or if she ever looks at me, goes. Wait, you gotta put that in the video. Yeah. Here it is. Here's her hitting the well. <laughs> everyone's face and joy and it was just such a coming together moment I think for everyone in the number and for me watching it it was so powerful and special so I'll always have that image with me hands are high my feet are low and this is how I Regionally, and then I uh, got to live out in LA for uh, two months during my senior year of high school when I did Hairspray Live on NBC. And um, now I'm in college at the University of Michigan as a musical theater major. I'm a rising junior. Go blue. Um, yeah, and I'm just a student still. Honestly, through 
Annette Tanner and Stafford Arima. Stafford Arima saw me partake in Broadway Dreams back in the day. Back, back, back in the day. Um, where uh, we did a showcase in Atlanta, um, which is where I'm from. And he saw me perform and he invited me to audition for Bear the Musical um, that was happening in 2012. And it was off Broadway at New World Stages. And being me, I didn't think it meant anything. I thought it was just an audition. And I'm just like, oh, I'm just happy to be auditioning in the room and be in New York. Because, you know, you never know where the possibilities may go if you haven't been given the opportunity. So you just are grateful to be where you are. And because of doing that, it helped me to make my New York debut. And then because of that, and being introduced to other people who are in the industry who uh, were putting me in their favors, I was able to get other gigs and do other things. And then from there, that's how you end up making your career in New York. And seven years later, I'm still in New York. <laughs> I thought I would have left and went back home. But no, I stuck it out, and then, you know, having that on my resume and doing other things, it helped. And, um, I want pizza. And, um, <laughs> you know, it led to other things. It led to other shows. It led to me actually being on Broadway and then having a couple of shows on Broadway. Stafford had us all stand in a circle and he was like, just come up with things and we all did the same thing. It was pretty magical, it was pretty cool. Hey, y'all better take or participate in Broadway Dreams because you never know who's gonna be in the room and who's gonna see you shine, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, what Unplug means after this amazing week in Los Angeles is connecting back to the humanness of us all. Take away all of the frills, take away all of the technology, what are we left with? The human form, the human body, and the human voice. It's being in a room with over 70 dreamers on the stage of the Wallace, sharing their unplugged dreams. Broadway Dreams Unplugged!